Why do you wait for science to solve the problem? It is not a mathematical formula or equation, or is it empirical evidence or even quantum tunnels that will solve or provide the answers that you seek. As stated many times and in many different ways, give love a chance. Earth changes are a human problem, but it isn't so much about factories, automobiles, things of that nature creating a greenhouse gas effect. These emissions are not helpful, but that is not the source of the problem. It is the condition of the collective heart. And because of this, all of creation is suffering. The animals, the plant life, the flora and fauna, you are the problem and the solution. You gather in concrete places with buildings that reach the sky. You close off your mind and your heart from the busyness and noise that chokes out the creative design and ability of the heart. Why not gather in nature with a pure heart of intent, walk barefoot and touch the soil so it can touch and nourish your soul? You have lost contact with one another. As the earth weeps, so do you. It is a loss of connection, a longing for both, but the path has been forgotten and discarded. In the concrete jungles, you navigate your way. Through the asphalt of decision, you seek that which your heart has lost. Some say they like the city, its environment, its energy, that is a reflection of what is within, the busyness, the noise and the chaos, the distractions. This is just a reflection of the inner turmoil one is not willing to face. The clutter in your mind and heart keeps you chasing from one project to the next, driving you, pushing you, but it is not because you want to conquer the world or even leave your mark. It is because of what is chasing you, what is haunting you. You believe underneath that if you just can stay busy enough, proactive enough, that you can outrun it. This is not so, as it will always find you. This life is all about learning through tests. Tests which examine the condition of your heart and it cannot be escaped. Many times one will have to go around the mountain, an endless cycle of circles, repeating the same steps, but to no avail. You just deepen the trench. Eventually, you will not be able to see the true path, the way up and out, as the path has become so well ingrained that you have succumbed to its mind-numbing hum of complacency, and busyness. It is not about making your mark. It is about becoming everything by becoming nothing. Come up higher. Take a moment to breathe, pause and reflect. Allow what is chasing you to catch up and to overtake you. Yes, it may be dark. It may not be what you want to see, but darkness is the only way that light can truly shine. Your load is heavy, your burdens are great. When you choose to let all of those burdens go, that which has been chasing you, you will see it was all an illusion to begin with. In the stillness of the heart, you will find all that you have been deeply searching for. It was never about running away, but running into, into the place of overwhelming love, light, and the peace that truly goes beyond any understanding of man's mind. It is incomprehensible, but that which is essential, you are not really living without it. You are the dead in motion as you have never really learned to breathe and experience what living is all about. It is love found within in the stillness of doing nothing by just simply being. This is the truth 
that will set you free. Stop and smell the roses.